Hello everybody, welcome back to Star Lost Seas. I'm Cryolane, I'm the DM, and this is the party! We're all here today, everybody's back yet again, which means we're gonna get a whole crew playlist. Play, play, playlist. I got distracted by what? I got distracted by what Crow is doing. He's a moose. <laughs> I looked down, yeah, I know, but I just, I, I saw it and I tried to not laugh and then I said playlist instead of playtime. I also and noticed that Cryo's camera is pointed up higher than it usually is. I'm trying to sit up straighter. Mm. I'm just, it's probably not going to work out, so let's just adjust <laughs> it now. Okay? Uh, I don't have great confidence in my ability to sit up straight. Uh, you have confidence in that shirt. Unbuttoned all three buttons up yo, there. Yo, oh, how you do? <laughs> Cryo's trying to get us those clicks. <laughs> no! It was just washed this morning. All of these <laughs> things are happening to me. So, <laughs> last... <laughs> I had all this time to prep and look where I am. Last time on Star Lost Seas, uh, we picked up right where we had left off in the, the sort of post-battle uh, chaos of the fight with the Nameless, with Raiden revealing himself to have been one of her guards. Uh, and with all of you realizing you have many, many, many questions to ask the man, uh, Dolis flies off to get some anger and emotions out, venting it by helping Jura and his forces uh, sort of push back the remaining cultists in the city. While the rest of you are teleported by Twink to the deck of your ship, where Twink uh, heads down to make sure the railgun is all good and talk with Lorelei, while the rest of you uh, sort of begin your interrogation of Raiden, who confirms that he is not Star Lost. Uh, in fact, he has been keeping a low profile to everybody but Star Lost Lotus. Uh, and seemingly until uh, previously, when one of you mentioned that Raiden was with her, uh, Martin didn't realize. Uh, Martin also has not intervened in whatever Raiden is doing, so supposedly he doesn't care. Um, uh, Raiden confirms he's generally just been trying to keep Star Lost Lotus from causing chaos and random, like, acts of violence, uh, with the long-term goal of uh, basically getting her broken away from Vecnost and Martin. Um, but recently, with all of your arrivals, it ha it took a very sharp turn. Uh, he also explains that the long-term goal of the Nameless was to secure easy passage into the elemental plane of air, as previously they had been using portals that appeared, but with the breakage of the planes, uh, they lost access. So the forces of the cult were split in half. Half have been here, handling Gui, and the other half are still in the plane of air, separated from the Nameless, who is their commander. Uh, now she is there, presumably she is going to try and kill Kaeli and permanently damage the elemental plane of air in such a way that Martin is, uh, is given an easier opportunity to perform his ritual that will let him combine back into Vecnos. Raiden also finally sort of explains what Martin's overall goal is. Martin has a ritual of some kind that will let him put fragments of Vecnos back together so that he can challenge the gods, uh, and that all of this damaging of the planes and ley lines is just to make that ritual easier. He tried to do that ritual 70 years ago when the original party fought him, but because he had not done any of this prep work, uh, it was easier for them to thwart him. Uh, so he has since used the 70 years to set up another attempt at this ritual during this lifetime. Uh, uh, Raiden also confirms that when he was attacked and the birds left, that it was Inquisitors who attacked him and not Star Lost. Uh, he also confirms the answer to a question you guys have had for a while, and that Fairmont and Harmon have had and never really thought to answer, that... Uh, the immortality that they possess is not just a long life. When they die, they wake back up. Uh, so presumably Raiden is completely functionally immortal uh, until such a time that whatever energy rendered them like this runs out. 
Dolus returns to the ship, and Raiden and the birds have a nice little talk where he says that regardless of them being duplicates or clones or split offs or anything, he loves them just the same. Uh, and that he clearly loves them deeply because he is was willing to help the nameless in various ways and put up with all of this, uh, despite the fact that it is clearly a bad thing to do just for the chance of saving her. Uh, he also, unfortunately for the birds, when they ask, uh, clears up that he is not their biological father. Uh, and in his, in his own words, I am not your father as much as I wish I were. You all talk to, uh, talk to Maya about pursuing the nameless to the elemental plane of air. So you can sort of, you know, solve the situation and, uh, as Raiden requests, uh, get her back. But as many of you sort of plan to kill her instead, uh, she, along with Jura, offers your use of the key and the portal that is down uh, in the center of the heart of Dragonlost. And you begin making your way there, uh, as Maya will have to show you how to access the portal itself. While you are traveling, and everybody sort of is, is separated in their own little things. Martin himself makes an appearance uh, in his quarry form to just Doc uh, and offers Doc a solution to Hickory and Doc's predicament. Uh, if they give up time, the fragment of Agnosta that they are currently in a pact with, to Martin, he will fix them and put them back. Uh, originally, uh, Right off the rip, they're not really sure about this deal, but Martin sweetens the pot by saying, in fact, anytime you're in trouble, unless you are directly fighting me myself, I will come bail you out uh, in exchange for time and putting you, like, putting you correctly. Uh, as extra icing on the cake to make sure Doc doesn't tell this idea to anyone or complicate any of Martin's plans, Martin modifies his memory, so Doc will only remember this offer if he considers taking the deal. Uh, you guys arrive at the heart, uh, and along with Raiden, Maya, and Alina, all of you dive down under the water and follow this sort of mysterious magical path that reveals this secondary magic dome at the bottom of the heart of Dragonloss that should contain a stone archway that is the gate. Uh, but the archway has been moved. You guys quickly notice that it is outside of this sort of dome of air that you are in, that you can breathe in. Uh, and Lotus is the first to notice that there is something wrapped around the dome that is sort of serpentine. And as it rises up and Hush uses his sort of abilities to figure out what it is weak or impervious to, uh, you are all shocked as Hush confirms what you start to see, that this uh, is not a Hydra or a sea serpent. This is the avatar of Tiamat, who was mentioned to you all so long ago uh, and who steps into the bubble and takes human form and asks you all uh, why she should let you use the gate. Uh, and so as she summoned up this sort of throne of water that she sat upon, that was what she asked. That was where we ended our last session. And that is where we are going to pick back up with all of you. Say, oh, dude, Kay's got a finger up already. <laughs> Immediately. What did I miss? Can I do a history check to remember what I've read in all of my readings about gods, about Tiamat, and who she is, what's her deal. No. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a big, fat uh, nine. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, you... You don't really remember much other than the fact that she is an e the evil counterpart to Bahamut. Uh, in the world of Star Loss, she is lawful evil versus chaotic evil as she is in, in sort of standard D&D. &D. Uh, she and Bahamut are like the lawful parallels of good and evil. So she has a firm set of rules, but you don't know what they are. You just know if you if you break one, she's probably going to kill you. And I will just say, in case any of the players have forgotten, we are not to let the gods know about Veknost and his return, or else they will just end the world themselves. As no. says Bahamut. <laughs> uh... So, now, continue play. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I will say to Ian... Um, because Ian, you were part of the council that talked about the Avatar of Tiamat arising. Uh, you were the only one who was there during that time, because it was one of the council meetings that uh, no one else had sat in. They were looking for, uh, walk at the time. Uh. I forgot about weren't. this. It was before the ship even blew yeah, up. Yeah, so They were just was, wandering yeah. around Shade Step. It was a Shade yeah. Step. Yeah. It's part of the missing this episode. Was this was 90-something yeah. sessions ago. This was session 13. This was like 103 sessions ago, and we lost it. 105. 105 sessions ago, and we <sighs> lost it. This is yeah. lost it's knowledge. <laughs> um, well, to be fair, we didn't go into detail on what happened in that anyway, so this is the first I get to learn about it, too. Let's go! What happened, Cryo? Uh, you would know uh, from what Fagin told you that, uh, like, what Fagin told the council that in his battle with a Draco Lich to sort of save Altairi, uh, they used a ritual Martin had given them uh, that summoned uh, what should have just been something to stop this Draco Lich, but instead summoned the Avatar of Tiamat. Uh, after the battle ended, however, the Avatar didn't vanish and they couldn't dispel it. Uh, and after some short words that you're not sure what was discussed, it flew off to the far east seemingly and since then has not been uh sighted so you know that this avatar before you is not tiamat in her full form uh and you also know seemingly uh it, it is stuck here uh at least by the the rules that summited it originally so you don't know if tiamat chose to stay or if there's some other dynamic at play but as she sits before you that is that is what you know off the rip and i again yes to all of you as k said you all are you are all also very well aware that this is a god uh much like with when hickory was looking at cogdios you all feel more than you hear the name tiamat like in yourselves like just being in the presence even of an avatar of a god is this oppressive force uh so you are immediately aware as she presents herself that this is this is a deity. And so, yeah, she just sat across from you waiting for your answer. She is this, like I said, eight foot tall. Uh, she's incredibly lean to the point that she's almost gaunt. Her cheeks are kind of sunken in. Any part of her body that would have, like, fat or, or sort of squish to it is just trim. So you can see, like, her muscle under her skin. She's built like Yzma. Yeah, kind of built like, kind of built like Yzma. Uh, except instead of stick thin, you do see, you do see the mus, like, the musculature. Like, you get the idea that she could probably, like, pick one of you up and throw you uh, without much difficulty. Well, that's happened to me a lot, so. <laughs> that's true. You are used to being thrown by a dragon. <laughs> you are... It's gonna, like, look around be like, Oh, shit. Should I answer? No. <laughs> so I should answer. No. Well, who's going to answer? Can I go? All right, I I'm going to answer. I turn around. I How's Maya looking in this moment? As you put Maya in your you put oh, Maya you in you your hey, Maya, you're like right. fuck off Maya to protect to protect her when you still thought it yeah. might have been a Hydra I, you I just so. 
like like I look like I'm like rubbing my chin and I'm like, so Maya, don't panic, but Tiamat is here. <laughs> you can't hear. Even I know what's going on inside <laughs> your claw. I know. I just know. for the sake of just for the sake of being funny inside your claw, Maya is sitting there holding the key. And you whisper that, and she's just like, oh no, <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna speak then. Go for it. <laughs> Okay. Um. Well, what exactly would you require of us to earn passage? That's a good question. I appreciate that question. I suppose it would really be dependent on which of the planes you want to go to and why. Okay. What if we said it was the plane of air? There's a lot going on in the plane of air. I'm not sure if you want to go there right now. Terrible time for a vacation. Well, uh, we have some of us family there. Do you miss your family? Do you want to see them again? Who is it? Your mama, your papa, a child, a brother, a sister? Um, more, more of a guardian. Raiden's like, a da daughter, a daughter. <laughs> sort of have to talk to a daughter. A da I, gotta, I gotta put his fucking accent on. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, just, I think. <laughs> what's your, what's your word? Use your word. Use your <laughs> phrase. What's Use your phrase? phrase. What's your phrase? Summon I don't Raiden. Know. I don't know. I'm panicking. <laughs> say Shamrock Shake. Oh, I say Ireland. I say Ireland. Yeah, I say that Ireland is my Irish accent trigger phrase. Say just, say Ireland. thirty dollar tip with only T's. Thirty dollar tip. A thirty dollar tip. <laughs> <laughs> He's not that Irish. <laughs> a daughter. He says, he says a daughter. There's a daughter in the elemental plane of air for for me. You go. Oh, a ward. I don't particularly care for familial affection, considering uh, well, well, the only familial connection I had in the world was my exact rival. That's unfortunate. I'm so sorry. All right, he's dead. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations, condolences. They're both words that start with C. Let's just call it that. Okay. The little one seems springy. <laughs> pointing at Hush, who's like, Hush, Hush just keeps like waving, and then pulling his hand down. Like you shouldn't do that. Stop. He's very excited. <laughs> and also, like, <laughs> meeting Markiplier over here. He's <laughs> just like, Hi. So, what would earn us passage? Now that you know our destination. Well. I also know a lot of rumors I've sort of picked up over time. You see, I haven't spent all of my, all of my little purview here on this plane, buried under the sand in this spot. I've, I've wandered a bit. This archipelago is so lovely, isn't it? Especially with all the goings on. <sighs> Big fan of the fire and screaming. I do know about your little fancy crew coming to save the lot. What do you call yourselves? The grandest? The greatest? I would never call myself such in your presence. Okay, but what do you call yourself? That was my question. I call, I'm Twink. My name's Twink. Hello, Twink. <laughs> Funny. I know another gnome named Twink. He's kind of the reason I'm stuck here. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. It's a real shame. Why is she stuck You're here? not that same no twink, are you? No you relation. Ah, oh, just a common gnome name then. I guess? I've only ever met... No, no, I've never met any other one with my name. If you do, let me know. 
I would like to eat him very much. Oh. All right. Will do. Perfect. So waving. <laughs> well, the entire time, Doc's just like, stop it. <laughs> Sorry. Turns to the birds and Alina, who's like holding on to Dolus. Like, Lotus is tucked behind one side of Dolus, and Alina is kind of tucked behind the other. And just. So you're from the plane of air, I presume. You reek of wind magic. Uh, yes, ma'am. What brought you here? What stuck you here? We both trapped little souls, unable to fly free. Uh, broke. Or rather, I was wrongfully accused of a crime and banished. Ooh. And now do you seek vengeance? <laughs> I used to. But not anymore? How boring. How gosh. <sighs> I, I don't her. know. It doesn't really seem like any of you have all that pertinent of a reason. He doesn't want revenge. You just want to save a child. Well, the rest of you don't even seem to care. Um, there is... Give me some heart. Give me some fire. <laughs> there is one aspect of our journey that didn't elaborate on my guardian of sorts uh, is the uh, genie Kaeli Ooh. and someone is there attempting to kill her that's why you reek of genie magic, I see. So you are on a valiant quest to defend your guardian against those who would wrong her. Yes, ma'am. Heroes. You're all so funny. Such piddly little playthings. And you, uh, blue one, you haven't spoken at all. At Annie. <laughs> yes, you. You have the faintest tint of the old enemies. Let me guess, warlock. Mm -hmm. Some horrific little abomination appeared to you in your dreams and offered you grandiose rewards, despite the fact that they are, you know, the losers. Hmm. I wouldn't say dream. It was like, I, I, I wore this and they talked to me. A ah, vision. And then we Such got married. Such a distinct difference from a dream. I appreciate the correction. Yeah, that's how we got married. <sighs> you got married to an aberration. Was it a nice ceremony at a temple? more like if I didn't do it I'd be dead so a, a sword point wedding then no I'm cursed do you well, love this feel... being I don't love anything oh you and I have so much in common well I don't feel anything you and I don't have that in common. So, I just want to clarify. Are, are you sworn pact-wise to this creature or are you married to it? There is a difference. Hmm. Well, hmm. The words were something around Till death do you part. Is that what they were literally? You know, not literally, but essentially the same thing. 
I really hate to break it to you, girl. You're not married. What makes you say that? Uh, because, because, number one, eldritch abominations don't really do weddings. Uh, number two, that's not how marriages work. How do they work? It is very fun. Oh, oh. That is not a lesson I shall teach you, especially not here. I appreciate that, though. <laughs> <laughs> and you, points at Hush, excited little one. If she has a tinge of the old enemy, uh, you, <laughs> you reek of it. Why? Can you please ask her if I could tuck her head? I really don't know if that's allowed. Yes, you can. Oh! Oh, she can <laughs> hear me! Oh! Oh! Oh, why do I reek of old enemy? Mm-hmm. I spent a lot of time with one. Abolith. Oh. But I'm not an Abolith, and I've learned to kind of not see their views. That's why I'm very excited about this. Everyone I know, should be. I know a lot about dragons, and I've also heard a lot about Tiamat. Oh. <laughs> Tell me what's your most excited part about this. Oh. I think it was when I saw you, and I... All the different heads. All the you different... You see them again? Looks at the, at the rest. Can I... Yes! Sure enough, she fucking just, like, swells up, and it's almost like she turns into smoke that trails out of the dome, and she again grows into the massive five-headed dragon that leers over. And one of the heads, the, you know, hang on. The blue head kind of just, like, back in through the dome, all the water coming off of it again, just... Anti grandiose. <laughs> I think there should be a better word. You're so cool. <laughs> the laugh like shakes your bones. And then she again just like back down into her chair. Just... I do appreciate a little, uh. What's the word that you mortals use? Uh, praise? Compliments. Praise! There it is. I do appreciate a bit of praise. I just think you're cool. I what am the fourth oldest being in the universe. Um, so what do we need to prove to you to, for us to go through? It seems like, from what I'm gathering, is that, or what I know is... The things that we want to do are probably good. And it doesn't seem like that's too fun for you. No. I like a good virginal sacrifice. Okay. Uh, what if we, like, show bad parts of ourselves? I want, always to, I want to kill a celestial. Ooh, which one? Uh... Grabbing it, grabbing it, grabbing it. Saril? Saril. That flighty feathered little thing of Cogdeos is. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You, come here. Runs over. Really casually reaches down and just picks you up by the hood. <laughs> that is not... Trembling, he's just excited that he's meeting somebody. Looks really deep at you. Uh, I would very much uh, like you, Hush. To, as she stares deep into your eyes, uh, I'd like you to make a wisdom save. <laughs> is this for Frighten? It is not. It is not, or is it for Charm? Uh, it is not. She's not trying okay. to frighten or charm you. She's reading your mind, bro. Uh, okay. Wisdom save? Mm-hmm. Am I 
possible at passing this? It is possible that you can pass this. Okay. I got this. Not that 20. 19 plus one. That is what you needed to pass this. Well, is that exactly what I needed? That's a meets beeps. <laughs> uh, all she gets off of the top of your brain is how overjoyed you are to meet a giant five headed dragon lady. Uh, and then she really casually like tosses you. Uh, but despite that, you like immediately feather fall just, and you like land next to her seat. And she's like, this one has passage. <laughs> hmm. I presume you don't want him to go alone, so. So you want to? This is my parents dying and mine are losing. <laughs> 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 this is my parents dying. It's, you guys are shocked to see this illusion appear of two Eladrin, who one of them turns red and screams in rage before she bursts into flames, not even upset or experiencing the pain, too focused on how just absolutely mad she is before she just burns to ash. And then the other one, uh, the, the other gentleman that Annie is showing in this illusion, uh, turns blue a lot like Annie and just slowly weeps as he curls into the fetal position and freezes solid into a statue of ice. Team out watches this and just like, damn. That was a pleasant view, though. I appreciate that. Are you getting the revenge? Yes. All right, come. <laughs> <laughs> come on, revenge side! <laughs> okay, all right, I guess I'll go next. <laughs> I just, I guess I'll walk up to Tia, Matt. What do you have that's, that's valuable or, or enjoyable to me? Oh, I thought you were going to do the thing to me. I can if you'd like, but that's, that's not oh, what I'm asking. Um... <laughs> no, I, I, I got nothing. No vengeance, no rage, no righteous condemnation. What if the whole party was mad at him and didn't like him at the moment? He lied Internal to me. strife. Tell me, have you all recently felt a lot of anger towards the little one? Yeah, and should he go were... along with you, it would it would cause some level of internal strife. Yeah, probably. What? Most likely. I'm still mad at we're him. We're still you're still mad about that? Yes. Why? He lied to me. Was yesterday. Wait, when did I lie to you? Uh, I was I was mad at you because you lied to me, and then I'm mad at you because you uh, did like, all that stuff. When did I lie to you? you? Said you would get me the thing, and you didn't get me the thing. You didn't get oh him the thing. Oh my god! Are we really doing this here? I'll pull him out. <laughs> uh, it's a uh, one twig. The red and blue dragon scale. Ooh. Oh, I presume okay. you took those off of one of my children. Well, two of my children. <laughs> yep, sure did. You had it the entire time? Yes, because the way you asked for it wasn't the way you should have asked for it. No, that's wrong, and Wong said that's wrong. I was just excited. You're in the wrong here. All right, put them back in the bag. Don't give them here! You were willing to give them here this time. I stood up for myself. Doc just kind of holds a presenting hand to, <laughs> to them arguing. I do not yeah. want him to come with us. <laughs> oh, you're in. <laughs> Question, though. Uh, did you get those off of live dragons? Well, they were dead. And who killed them? Uh, we killed one of them. Which one? Red or blue? Was it the red, red one? It was the red, it was the red, red one. Red. 
So you travel with one of my children and you kill another one. <laughs> oh, you could feel you could feel her. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, well, that happened. I'm sure she can feel me also. Oh, she was not happy. Hmm. Fair. You spend so much time crafting these beings from nothingness so that they can spread grand revelry across the world in chaos, and they just don't appreciate you. <laughs> you never visit on Christmas anymore. <laughs> just send me a text. I'm your literal god, and what, you don't want to hang out? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she just, but yeah, she just nods. She's like, "Well, if my children were felled by you, they uh, either you are quite capable, or they're very disappointing." Which do you think it is? Well, I feel like it could go either way. Mm. I think I think we outsmarted them just a little bit. Hmm. Interesting. Come on, join the line. <laughs> Gestures to Annie and Hush. Fair enough. <laughs> Can I have the scale? One. Looks at the rest of you. You can have one of them. The red. I always. I just wanted one. I give you the blue one. Uh, no, I wanted the red. That was the one that I sent away. <laughs> I'll, I'll point at Hick and uh, Doc. Uh, mm -hmm. That one's going to need rest very soon, and when they go to sleep and then wake up, they might go through an existential crisis. Annie, what does that because, have to do with anything? Because, because of the fact that they don't know which one is going to be in their body, and they're constantly stressed out about it. No, Annie's right. We're going for strife, and it, she wants something that's going to make her happy. We're, Twink is here because I don't want him to be. So, when you sleep... You wake up to an existential crisis. Mm -hmm. What makes you different from everyone else? A lich gave me an impossible choice, killed one of my friends, and I want her dead. For real dead. Ooh. A lich. Mm hmm I do hate those who pervert the sense of life. It's not really my domain, but it just, it just doesn't leave a good taste in my mouth. Kind of gamey undead. Mm, show me. Show you. Mm -hmm. Like this little act of yours that this one seems so confident about. If it's entertaining enough, I won't eat her. <sighs> I guess I'll Look pop out one of Bala's potions. And I'll take a sip, even though I really wanted to be Doc today, Annie. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, I mean I think not technically, you like still could be. Yeah. <laughs> technically, you still can be. Is it you could stay as Doc, and then Annie gets eaten. Hey, Cryo? It's an yeah. Arcana check, right? Yeah. What happens if it's over 20? Very, very wonderful. Thanks. Just tell me. It's 21. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, Doc, you go to bed. You you guys watch Doc is just like, all right, fuck it. He takes a swig of it and he just boom. And then there is, as we've said before, that like VCR glitch effect. And it's still Doc's body. Uh, Hickory, oh. you wake up oh. in Doc's body. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. Oh, they switched. Oh, I can feel it. I felt them. Their brain wait, wait, switch. Wait, 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 wait! Give him, a, give him another chance. He can do it again and get it right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Jeez, no! I'm pointing at Doc. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Annie. It's fascinating could have chosen the actual rage that we hold. Ooh. That is fun. Two beings, one body. And you want revenge. I am a fan of revenge, but your subject of revenge isn't in the elemental plane of air, is she? You Someone lose points for that. There is. 
Ooh, you gain points for that. All right. For now, the line. <laughs> Welcome to the line. You grand knight who wants to rescue his daughter, Raiden. Why should I let this happen, Raiden, without hesitation? Just hang on. <clears throat> Ireland. <laughs> Ireland. There you go. Uh, without hesitation, Raiden just... I would do anything to save my kids. Anything. I have been part of the burning of Dragonlost just at the attempt. And I would burn several other cities just to see them well. In fact, I would even kill you if it came down to it. And that was what I must do. So, if strife is what you want, I will happily do it. She goes, <laughs> Line. <laughs> Brayden looks at you birds and he's just like, <laughs> walks over and stands, stands on the over, line. Over at Lotus and Alina. I don't really have like a lot of rage in my heart, but we're like a couple. So if one of us dies, the other will be really, really, really sad. Line. <laughs> and she gestures to you also, Dolis, at line. Oh. No point if only one of you goes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was easy. I I had so much ready. I had like three <laughs> different options prepared, and then you just ga gave me my out. Well, That's his sister. Got you. If you Ooh. separate them, they'll it'll be even worse. Ooh, is that true down at Dolus Lotus? Would you be devastated uh, to lose each other? I... I know I would be. I know that I, without him, I would be capable of destroying cities. I would be capable of destroying so much. Mm. I would give anything if it meant protecting her. leans down towards you now near her Dolus. Dolus, make a wisdom save. Oh, I'm actually really good at these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bitch, never mind, I'm good at them. 26. 26! She probes a little. You feel like this sensation kind of wash over you. Uh, and, and then she gets this really big grin and she's like, ooh. She would raise cities for you, and you say you'd protect her, but in that little noggin, I see you imagining yourself gutting her. I don't know what the two of you have, but I am so pleased to have her on the line. <laughs> Curls her fingers at you, Lotus. <laughs> you all line up. She gets, she just dismisses the throne with like a little hand wave, <laughs> stands back up. Uh, and she holds a hand out, and you watch the stone arch just slide its way back into the dome and move to its center. Yes, Lotus? Um, miss, uh, uh, uh <laughs> How about you add a tress to that? That would sound nice. Mistress. Perfect, yes. Um, we actually have... One more person, but she's not actually coming into the planes with us. She's just here to uh, open the door, and then she's uh, gonna. Yes, the one in the little, the little, little genie room. Uh huh. So... I think she's crying right now. <laughs> oh. Do you notice everything? Yeah, I thought I should uh, tell you just so, you know. Well, go on. The door can't be opened without a key. Not even I have that purview. Only Esterox could open it without a key, and he is away without leave. Hold out my hand and 
<laughs> Maya is literally curled up on her <laughs> knees around the key, just like. <laughs> then she looks up at <laughs> there's TMS. No, there's no just fucking like, audio right. to that. She just, she just, she just, just screams scream silently. silently. Yeah, she just screams as she looks up at TMS. And TMS just, yes. Perfect. Go on, open the door. Like, just ushers to my. <laughs> She's just like, okay. Then you and I can stay and chat while they do their business over there. And Maya's like, I love it. None of this is coming through. You're going so high pitched. Your noise gate is giving up. She is, she, she literally, she's just like, okay, then we can stay and chat while they do their business. That's fine. And she like goes over and stands up, pulls the key out. She like looks back at you guys. She's like, you're so lucky. Puts the key in the door. <laughs> it slides in and there's like this audible kvum. And you watch all these runes light up across the entire gate. Then Maya turns the key one direction and all the runes suddenly boom and they turn green. Uh, they turn that sickly sort of Kaeli green. And then despite it just being an archway, you guys like Blink and you miss it. There are doors. And they set in and sort of recess a bit, and then they slide apart, and there's just a green light that fills the archway. Huh. Tiamat's like, I can't wait to hear tales of your exploits in the plane once you get back. Oh. Never mind. I'm sure we'll be grand friends. Have fun. Don't die, but if you do, make it uh, entertaining. Okay. Bye bye. Oh, uh, am I allowed to give you an update when we're in there? You want to send me messages? Yeah, if there, anything happens in there. I appreciate you, strange child. And she pats you twice on the head, and then she just grabs you, and she just, like, throws you through the door. <laughs> Take it as yes! Okay. He looks at all of you kind of, like, nervous okay. and hesitating. Yep. And just... Okay. Oh! <laughs> like, the dragon voice returns again. Maya at the doors, you guys like walk through, it's just like <laughs> Alita like pats her twice on the shoulder and then goes. Give her I give her a bread roll. Takes it. She she seems she's really nice actually. <laughs> no, she's not one. <laughs> bread to eat! Annie! <laughs> no, no, don't don't okay. call her nice, it's an insult. You're okay. Going through going through the door. <laughs> Go through the door. Almost as I'll soon through... as Hank <clears throat> and Annie are through the door, she just immediately turns on, <laughs> on I'm her. Not like, the door I won't say what you're doing on the other side of the door yet. Okay. I will say that. I'm like, if you're doing anything before you go through the door, now's the time. Yep. All right. Everybody goes through. Uh, hush. We'll go from your perspective first because you were the first one through. Uh, you sort of just get yeeted and you're like, ah, and you expect to go through the door and then like land and like have to pick yourself up. So you go through and you immediately, the rush of air gets more and more intense uh, as you are falling. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I'll bring in my wings. <laughs> you, you catch yourselves as the moth wings just come out and, just, whoom, and you're like, oh, and you look up. And the gate, the archway is just floating in the air, like 200 feet above you now. Is I'm there? Like, hmm. Is is there land anywhere? There are. There are multiple islands floating around you. There's one even pretty far beneath you. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hush goes quickly, moves over to an island, and as he's going, uh, I'm gonna cast Bigsby's hand, and I float it in front of the door. Ooh, perfect. You cast Bisbee's hand just as uh, Alina steps through it. It's just like, okay, huh? <laughs> I got you. Like from across, like across the way. Big B. There's no other. Big B. 
Big beef. Whatever. I'm catch. I'm naming it Hush Hand. Okay, hush Hand. That's fine. <laughs> uh, next up through after Alina are the birds. Birds, you are. <laughs> as you both step through. Just the the air, the pure clean air hits your noses, and you're like, "Whoa, we're here!" And then you bump into Alina, who's balancing on the edge of this hand, and you're just like, "Oh!" No. <laughs> I float off. <laughs> Uh, you float off. Annie, Annie and Twink, you guys come through. Uh, and I was gonna, I'll get, we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, as you come through, last, bumping also into Alina, uh, and the gate closes behind you, uh, the archway just boom and just falls. What about you watch it just where plummet am I? down. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. You came, you also came through. I apologize. <laughs> I, no, I, I thought I said, no, that sounds bad. I thought I also said your name. That's just, I just thought I also oh, said Oh, yeah, you, you're here. You're... No, 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 hang on, hang on. I was very concerned for a second that something very bad just happened to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're good. You Hickory also you came through. You're all sort of piled atop the hand, uh, balancing as the doorway falls until it lands on the island beneath you just fine. As that is happening, birds! I need you both to make con saves. Wow, oh, my favorite kind of saving throw. Well, there it goes. Um, bye. You dropped your die into a skate rink. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, she's actually doing Bakugan over here with it. <laughs> Jesus. They really did just slide across my table. It's like you had a Beyblade going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you guys get? 14. The fact that you're both waiting for each other to go first tells me not great things for each of you. 14. 14? Well. Oh, oh one of you say. <laughs> I say. It was Lotus. <laughs> and y'all gonna. Oh, it go was inspiration. Save was 13. Uh, Ray, do you have inspiration from anything? Yes. From the, the lift? Yeah. But. But. <laughs> oh, let's go. I love Ray being at Chaos Gremlin. Oh, uh, so. Fucking, turn into my humidifier. Well, why don't you? Yeah, <laughs> Dolus, okay. you kind of like, after this effect happens, because I have a question. Okay. Dolus, you float away a bit, and then you kind of like, uh, you catch yourself on the wind as your hand starts to get that smoky effect to it again. And just like you did when you were banished, you just will it. Like, you force it to come back. And you have to focus. It's almost like when you're shape shifting, like you have to focus firmly on keeping your hand in the shape that you want it. Uh, meanwhile, Lotus, you like you're you have a moment of like, we're here. And then you're like, oh, am I going to? And then you feel that sharp pain in your wings again. And for everybody who's balancing on the fucking hush hand, uh, you watch as again, like green and white sort of mist and vapor starts coming off of the green lines on Lotus's wings as they start to sort of like back to the future flicker in and out of existence. Um, are you uh, all dying? I move everybody over to the island with me. Okay, my question before that happens is how much can Bigby's hand lift? Uh, I believe it is a thousand, right? No, 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 no. It is it has, definitely... It's it whatever a, its strength is, right? That's how you determine how much it can lift? It's whatever its strength is times 15, and Bigsby's strength is 26. So... Let me check. That's a lot. It's, it's like 400 pounds. There's six of us on this hand? No, 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 no. Uh, Bigsby's hand can lift... Uh, ooh. 600... Okay, so Bigsby's hand can lift normally 390, but by since it counts as a large, it gets a modifier, which is... 780 pounds. Do you guys exceed 780 pounds? Okay. Lotus weighs like no, three six, pounds. The, weight. Six of us wouldn't. I was curious. I know. I knew that it had a limit. I just didn't know what that limit was. Uh, I'm going to go with the limit of 780 because math-wise raw, that's how it works out. But apparently this is a point of contention among the D&D &D community because there's a lot of... I looked it up and there's a lot talking about this. <laughs> the other question is, how big is large? Can all six of us stand on it? I will say, all six of you have to, like, you're all, like, against each other. There is no room to move on the hand, but also Dolus floated off. Cool. Uh, Doc and Hickory so... can just kick off if need be. Yeah, we're, we're good. That would definitely make it I'll easier. Get, my biggest question was, like, hey, there's six of us standing on this hand. Like, yeah. 
Can it mm. lift that? Yeah, so, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, those of you who can just I'm fly. I'm super light, off so technically yeah. it's like five people, but still, like, yeah. I'm like, is the wind by, by raw, like crazy? it's exactly 780. The wind is not blowing like crazy, but it's blowing like when you're standing on like an open hilltop on like a spring day. Like there is a gust coming by, but it's not going to like knock you off, but it will like move your hair and that sort of thing. Oh, I just drag everybody over to the to the cloud with me. Yeah, so you like, drag everyone over. No one falls off uh, at one point. Hickory Doc uh, kicks off with the boots of flying to give everybody a little more room. I was going to say, if Lotus is actively evaporating, mm -hmm. Hick's going to kick off and I'm going to say that she doesn't know to not try and use her magic fully yet, so she's going to try and dispel it. I'm okay. not sure if I can reach that magic because it's Hick's magic. I have been waiting for you to attempt this. Uh, as you try and use Hicks magic in Doc's body, uh, you trigger the final effect of the hour in the moment. Uh, a number of times a day up to your proficiency modifier, you may use an ability or spell of the other sibling. Oh. Hmm. That's insane. Yep. Absolutely. That's insane. fucking insane. Like, that's insane. Yep. Did you okay. say spell or ability? Spell or ability. So, Hick can action, sur action surge. <laughs> yep. Four <laughs> times. Or five. How, what's your proficiency about four? Well, I will I say. It still burns I will mine. say it burns the other twins thing. So, you can only action surge as Hick as many times as you could as Doc. And gotcha. you also can't, like, as Doc, you can't but I can, like, I can channel divinity in. four times. I can reach in as many times as my proficiency. I just, I still use up whatever energy that is. Yep. I'll God, update your, this. I'll update your swords when I have a moment today. Oh, this is what I call <laughs> multi-classing. That is. Okay. Nuts. So and you'd I enjoy that broken. surprise. That's broken. That's so awesome. So burn Hickory <laughs> spell slot? Yeah, so burn Hick burn Hickory's body spell slot and okay. cast a dispel magic. What okay. level? Um, I mean, third, I guess. Uh, well, actually, okay. How quickly does it seem like Lotus is disappearing? Lotus is disappearing. Like Lotus isn't gonna disappear in a minute. Uh, like it is. It would even at the rate it's happening, it would take like an hour. It's just Lotus's ultras are just clearly in pain. Like this is clearly a very painful experience. I will, I'll bump to fourth. Uh, I'll say burn the spell slot. You are surprised that you feel yourself cast this spell despite your body. Yeah. But it doesn't have an effect. Fuck. So Lotus, either all of you are dropped off on this little, the edge of this island as Hush is like checking on you and everything. And Lotus, you are. You are like on your knees as your wings are kind of just slowly rifting off into the ether. Uh, I will call out as I'm like holding my own arm and I see Lotus beginning to like fizzle. I'm just like, Lotus, hold on. You need to concentrate. I don't know what you want from me. I'm doing my best. You just, I, I'll like come over and I will like lay my hands over top the handprints on Lotus's wings. Okay. I, I don't. I'll send Aldric to help and see if maybe or at the very least. Stay magic, bitch. <laughs> yeah, he's just going to immediately hit. They're going to whip around and just go like, Aldrich, what is happening? I'd rather have a noise. Nobody's ever done this in any... <laughs> it's... Lands on Lotus' back. It's, it's probably because we're exiled. This is probably a way to get us to stay out. Stay away. Uh, Very uh, serious uh, magic. What if I, what if I were to turn you into something else? I don't, I don't know, it hurts. 
I could turn you into a bird. I'm already I'm, I'm, a bird. But like a smaller bird. Do you want to be a bird and see if that maybe helps? Cryo. Yeah. Can I try to channel any of the innate genie-like magic within my soul? In my soul. That's all. That's a hard. That that sentence goes hard. I just want you to know. <laughs> to attempt to sort of force Lotus's form to stabilize somewhat. Uh, make an Arcana check for me. At disadvantage. Okay. Talk. Okay. I rolled an 18 and a natural 20. So that's no disadvantage. Uh, I will say you try and focus really hard and your hands start to get a sort of a green glow to them over the wings. Uh, and as that is happening, who's going to see this? Ooh, okay. Wink and Hicker, Hickory Doc. All right, Cryo, uh, we need to decide a rule right here. Do I decide Hickory. by the Do I decide by the head or decide by the soul? Or the head I would The head or body? or body? I would go by head okay. personally. Great. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Hickory and Twink, you both meet beats with your passive perception as Dolus is doing this. Uh, and you notice Alina cast something very sort of off in the little corner, uncertain. Uh, and uh, the rest of you are all watching. Lotus, you're way too distracted to notice. You're like, you're distracted by pain to notice anything. Do um, I notice what spell she was casting? I will say no. That would have required you to sort of actively uh, like be trying to watch her. But you do notice that she casts something clearly. Uh, Lotus! Your wings return just fine. And the pain sort of ebbs away. Dolus, uh, your hand is just a hand. And presumably for the moment, you guys are solid. What did you do? I, I don't know that I did that. I was trying to do something, but I mean, like, can I tell if I did that or not? You, you, you weren't even sure entirely if what you were doing would be helpful or not, or anything. So you, you can't tell. Okay. Hickory's gonna ping over to Alina and go. Mm -hmm. What was that? It was just a guess. It's what fine. Was it? I'm, I'm trying to. Figure stuff out. Don't. don't What'd worry. you just do? I didn't do anything. It's fine. <laughs> you did something. Was that like? Uh, what was uh, it? What'd you do? I. What, did you like? Because that wasn't. I did. What was that? I mean, I have kind of a theory, so I tried it. Because I had a theory while that was happening too, and I'm curious if we have the same theory. Am I still I... turning Lotus into a bird? No. 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 Okay. I cast Conjure Elementals, but I oh, see, to I, Conjure Lotus. I was thinking Planar Binding. Oh, I don't know that. I should learn that Yeah, one. That, that was my good. thought. Wait. I haven't had a lot of time to learn new spells. No, I don't know it either, but I had this guess that that might work. Wait, but you're Conjuring Lotus. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of concentrating on it right now. I figured I would just let us kind of function until I figured out why that worked. You're... Are you an elemental? Touching... What is this I mean, she kind of showed a lot of traits of it. What? I mean, you... I work with elementals all the time, and when they're around a lot of really concentrated magic of the same element of them, they can get sort of diluted. And you were... You're here now where there's nothing but wind elemental magic all around us. And then you both started sort of poofing. So yeah, I I conjured you. Wait. Planar binding would be really good though. That could also probably work. <laughs> so 
Is it because we have Kaeli magic in us? I have so, no idea. I have a because, lot of various theories that I have no way of confirming. <laughs> because when we lived here before, we that type of thing never happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, I never heard of anything like that, but then again, I wasn't really paying attention to my surroundings back then. But I hope you would have noticed if any of your sort of friends started I turning into mist. Didn't have friends. Any of your neighbors started turning into mist. All my neighbors were mean to me. Your brother started turning into mist. He never did that. Okay, yeah, so I don't, I think this is just a new thing then. I don't know why. <laughs> Thank you, regardless. That lasts an hour, though, so... so just a heads up, I'm gonna have to do it again. In an hour. Sorry, you like a... I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna focus my eyes, I'm gonna bonus action, finish sorcery point, and see if Lotus has any of the vulnerabilities or resistances that an air elemental would have. Uh, I mean, you just see Lotus's own monk resistances and the like. Lotus, I'm not sure exactly what you're immune or resistant or vulnerable to. I poison. Am poison That's and true. disease, poison. and there's a little bit of charm and frighten. Oh, yeah, because you can turn those off. Nope. <laughs> I got that nope. from the duck. The nope. duck? Got that from the duck. That's right, the duck. <laughs> the duck. If you, I forgot about that. <laughs> I love mm -hmm. the duck. The king magic of the duck. Dumb. You're not. We all know that it's magic, though. True. It's just a cool You're book. You're not an air elemental. <clears throat> I don't know. We should probably start figuring out something more permanent, Alina. Now we're on a time limit. I can also only do that a certain number of times a day, so yep, it's... we should probably figure out where we're going and what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um... Do you know where we're at, you two? You two, with your excellent knowledge of locations and Background. direction, <laughs> your backgrounds, yes. Uh, you do, in fact, recognize generally where you are. This is an area that is definitely sort of on the outskirts of where you guys ever would have actually gone and where people from your tribe would go. Uh, but it, it is someplace you have sort of seen off in the distance before. You get the idea that uh, you guys are sort of to the far north of where your tribe would travel and hunt. Uh, sort of near the, the center point of your guys' uh, wing of tribes. Well, where do we want to go? I, oh, before we get too much into that, I, we were all distracted by Lotus disappearing. Um, <clears throat> how do we get back? Because the thing's gone. Oh, right so there. the plan was, uh, Kaeli, um, would, you know, send us it back. However, we also have, um, access to Maya somehow, so maybe yeah. if the Archway ever comes back. We, it, it, the Archway, or the Archway, Archway, the, the archway. archway fell down onto uh, that island that was way beneath you that I mentioned when Hush stepped out of the oh, door. You guys yeah, okay. still there. All right. If you looked uh, down, I, you could see it way down. I did there. not know there was an island underneath us. Yes. Yeah. yes. I, when you said I, it oh, dropped, I'm like, it's just infinitely dropping forever. Goodbye. No. no. It is. You <laughs> see it's it. gone. Uh, you guys back? all get the idea as you look down at it also that if you didn't know it was there and you weren't looking for it, you probably would never pay it any mind because that island is way down below you and it is just a little stone arch in like the distance. <laughs> oh, so Maya is on the other side. However, we can't communicate with Maya. Yeah, we yeah, can. Message only has a small chance of failing. Or sending. 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 It works on different planes. It yeah, is. unfortunately, the small chance of failing. Okay. Much to cry, a chance to not 
connect, but it can send through plans. Do I roll roll a D one hundred? If I roll a five or lower, it doesn't work. You just roll a D twenty, and if you roll a one, there you go. That also works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a ridiculous high jump. functioning number. Uh, yeah. I so I would like yes. to step sort of forwards towards the kind of edge of this island that we're on and I would like to speak out a message I'm not using any kind of spells or whatever but I'm just sort of channeling my inner winds if you will uh, focusing on the ring the or what was the ring the claw on my hand uh, I'll speak a message in Orin uh, so it just sort of sounds like I'm whistling and I will say Kaeli I don't know if you can hear me but I'm here the other lotus is somewhere on this plane and she intends to kill you uh, you speak that the whole group kind of convening themselves those of you who've never been to an elemental plane before are sort of reeling from the all of it uh, especially uh, Annie and uh, Hickory who like you never really studied the elemental planes too heavily so the fact that you are just standing on an island bloating in a seemingly endless sky of just islands and clouds is mind-blowing to you. There's not like a sun here, but there is light. Seemingly, there is just like twirling storms in the distance that some of them are like emitting light out. And it's just like a nice sort of midday gentle glow everywhere you look. It's fucking mid, I'm sorry. And we're on a, we're on a cloud? We're on, a, you're on an island. You're on a, a stone okay. island. Yeah, so they're just flow. They're just these big stone floating islands spread out across the sky, uh, like, like Avatar, like the floating islands in Avatar, mm. <laughs> the James Cameron one, not the not the Nickelodeon one. Um, oh. The blue one. The blue one, exactly. But the all blue <laughs> one. There not you just go. The blue arrows. Uh, so, uh, Twink, however, Twink and Hush, Twink, you've read. Uh, plenty about the elemental planes and hush you are heavily versed in a lot of bullshit uh so you're you guys are both like oh my god like this is yep this is exactly what i expected this chaos to be like uh as you're all sort of reeling from that Dolus, as you whistle out uh alina and uh Lotus understand you. Also, anybody else in the party who speaks primordial, I don't think there's any of you who do that. Uh, uh, almost on, like, command as Dolus reaches out and says all of that. One of those distant storms, somewhat closer, though, there is a big branch of several jolts of lightning. Uh, and then as the thunder sort of reaches you all, you watch as this twisting storm kind of opens almost like a like a shell pulling apart for a second and you see lotus a very familiar sight of kaeli's palace in the distance just leagues and miles off uh and then the storm closes again sort of as a like just like a it's just like a flash of just like here and then it closes <laughs> I just imagine it looks like it's right there, and then we all look and it's gone. It's not there. It's basically, it's basically <laughs> like Kylie just dropped a waypoint for us. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> like the map pinged off yeah, the we saw it. It was right there. We're playing lethal. <laughs> nothing there, Lotus. There's nothing there. <laughs> it was. It was there. But yeah, I, D Dolus and Lotus, you both definitely saw it. Also, uh, probably. Uh, uh, Hickory and Twink, you both have pretty high passive perception. Actually, you all have. Everybody have roll a, a perception check for me to see if you saw it. You all have roughly the same passive perceptions. Uh, I wouldn't even be looking for it. I'm gonna be real. All right, cool. Twink's out. <laughs> Ian chose to fail. I, I would. I wouldn't be looking for it. Fair enough. 
I already pointed at it in RP direction. Okay, I'll roll. <laughs> no, no, you don't. I said you and Dola saw it for <laughs> sure. <laughs> you Ray's not listening. Oh, man. I'm just thinking about how excited I am to meet Kaeli again. If you're excited to meet shoes, not Kaeli. God, I wish it was 25. Shoes, baby. The only one who saw it are the birds. And <laughs> everybody else. Sorry, was that 22? 22. Oh, and Annie. Okay, I thought it was. I thought it was four. <laughs> I thought it was four also. So yeah. Okay. Point out. How does this work? Why is everything floating and it's just stone? Uh, wind elemental energy. Mm. Do you want me to explain to you how the elemental planes work? Like Alina's like all excited next to you. <laughs> Maybe not right now when I'm yes. on the time limit of an hour. Oh, that's true. Oh. Um. Anyways. Uh. Over there, that that okay. I, that's where we go. That uh, I saw that when I was dead too. Into the awesome. giant storm. You saw well, how you saw that when you were dead. Mm -hmm. What? I I told you guys. Oh, that's her. Right. That's the okay. Mm -hmm. That's a Pops. lot more like angry looking than I imagined. How do we get there? We fly. Why? Why? That's like the main mode of transportation here i know i'll ride yeah. on Annie's broom so i can talk about the elemental planes and also if the two of you start to flicker i can do that i can fly but not a long time oh can you carry me yeah i'll carry you i also turn into a bird if anyone wants to be written wants to ride on a bird no, no, it's okay save your magic here come here i will I save my magic i also take... get to be held which i enjoy <laughs> i can take you twink uh Raiden, do you have the powers of flight? He takes his boots and just like Hickory and Doc, he just boom and takes off. Hey, me too. Oh. Yeah, so I would. Cool. I wouldn't. I wouldn't fly around. I, I wouldn't have hung around with the nameless through all of this shit, going here and leaving if I couldn't get around. That's fair. And I was here. here I was going to ask if you wanted to fly over, hugging. Dark hick hickory, hickory, yeah, hickory. I... Nope. Okay, hickory. Also, Do I carry uh, someone. I don't think you need to. I, I am already spoken. Twink, yeah. where are you riding? You, your Let's options are Twink. hickory, yeah. Dolus. Uh, yeah, I was oh, already no, I accounted for. Sick. Yeah, everybody, everybody's cool, accounted for. It. Yeah, everybody's accounted for. You all take off. Um, I am uh, on the lookout for aerial threats. Yeah, I was going to say, birds, as you take off, you immediately know to stay relatively close to an island at all times because uh, you don't want to get caught out in the open if a rock decides to pull up. Otis. Mm hmm If we're going towards a storm, will we see a coat all? They're, like the, they're like the winged serpents. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hope so. If I see one in the distance, I'll point it out to you. Okay, please. Please, please, please. Also, if you see a bird, regardless of size, let me know. Uh, because it is just gonna get bigger and bigger. Lotus! Huh? huh? Did, I see where, bird. Where? Me? You! <laughs> yes, I'm You there. said regardless of size! <laughs> no, no, like, a, like, you know the birds you would see in the material plane? Are you talking about a rock? Yes. You should say rock. Oh, uh, yeah. I know everything that goes bump in the night. Well, it's not really night. You know, yeah, it's just like, a, it's like a phrase. Oh, uh, okay. Things that go bump in the day, the day night. Things that's, things spooky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you guys are flying along. Uh. I would like one of the birds to make a survival check. You may determine which one of you. Uh, I can do it. I think I have higher than you. Is it survival wisdom? So, yeah. Uh, survival, that is a 18. Hey! Uh... They're doing a good job of sort of, uh, dipping and weaving past islands and making good time uh, 
both of you birds as you're flying along, you realize the direction you're heading is planar south. So it is towards your tribe. Uh, as you sort of start seeing somewhat familiar sights, you're just like, shit. <laughs> like, it's going to be a problem. So, Dallas. Hey, so, like, what, what, what are we going to do if uh, we see somebody? Uh, are we uh, killing them or are we ignoring no, them or? Just ignore them. Okay. Uh, those of you who aren't used to being on this plane, uh, so everybody but the birds, as you kind of like glance down as you're flying way, way far below you through gaps in the clouds every now and then, you just see this spinning, like, tumultuous storm, this never-ending storm that exists at the bottom of the sky, quote-unquote. You definitely have a few moments where you, like, look down and see it, and you're like, oh, you know, like, don't look down. Hush looks down and spits. There it goes. Actually, hang on. Look down, you spit, and it gets caught by the wind immediately. Uh, and Annie, you and Alina are talking, and it just all of a sudden just... And it freezes. It doesn't, it doesn't freeze. It's not it touched cold. Annie. It's water. Oh, that's true. It does. <laughs> See, mm. Annie, Annie, you just get water, just and then it just freezes. Okay, water. What is this? I don't know. Water droplet. I don't know. I don't know how. I, I, I mean, there's stones floating everywhere. I guess there might be water. Is there rain everywhere. here? There's storms. Does it rain here? She shouts up at the birds. Yes. Very okay, yeah, rare. it rains. Oh, it must be raining. <laughs> she, if she didn't come to that assumption, she would have, like, sought her revenge plan against Hush again and would have blown him up in the sky. Yeah, she would have just straight <laughs> saying. Straight <laughs> just, into No, the that's my spit. I'd like to cast... You want to know what happens cold. when things fall down there? Find out! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lotus, as you made the survival check, and also as you have a very high passive perception, please make an active uh, perception check. Okay. It. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, in the distance, as you're flying, sort of amongst this, like the walls of storms that you see moving around, uh, not near you, so not a, an immediate threat to you. Uh, but you do see the, the silhouette uh, at the distance away it is. It looks like the size of like a normal bird. But you are very perceptive and very intelligent. Uh, so you gather the big shape you see sort of moving through the background is a massive rock. Uh, not too far off from the palace. Uh, but not so close that like you will have to encounter it. Uh, but you see... You see, like, the shape appear in the clouds and then, like, vanish again. Oh, hush. It didn't stay around for long enough, but there was a rock that direction. <laughs> like, that direction, and you process that that is the direction you are going. <laughs> you are... So, yes! Hey, hey, uh, so we might run into a rock, but, like, kind of hoping we don't. Um, Why, where is it? It was that direction i like okay, do a, i do like the, the ding dong <laughs> rock in our destination we might need to go around or not we will rock circle, is a big bird we will circle around uh slightly off in the other direction to try and avoid the rock okay okay ah uh, you guys take the long way around uh, sort of avoiding this patch of clouds and storm, you presume, to, to house this rock. Lotus, as you guys are going around, uh, you get sort of a better idea as you guys are approaching this area, the size of cloud and everything. The size of the bird that you saw had to be gargantuan. It had to be just massive, even for rock standards. Like, you've you've seen them in the distance before, and, like, this, this had to be a big one that you are avoiding now. Uh -huh. You kind of have a moment of just like, oh, thank goodness, but also like, that would have been really cool. <laughs> would have been... Hush would have been so excited. 
Maybe we'll see another one while we're here. I hope so, but also I hope not. I it's wanna like me, fight it! It's like me and my primal like fear of the ocean, but also I'm like, the ocean's so cool. Sea serpents are so cool. I'm terrified. <laughs> this is why I watch Shark Week. Entire campaign in it. Yeah. It makes the first combat or second combat against sea serpents. I really had to just get it out of the way really fast. Uh, <laughs> uh, because you had to avoid the, the, the rock, you guys are going to have to get to, get to Kaeli's palace as you guys are coming along now. You've been flying for like 40 minutes or so. You process that you are going to have to fly right over your village or under. Dolas, can we take an even longer path? What? Raiden nearby is like, these boots have a time limit. <laughs> I was about to ask how long we've been flying for. About 40 minutes, which means that we're almost halfway through those who have boots. Because <laughs> it's two hours for boots of flying. Oh, Hickory's also used hers today for about 20 minutes, so Hickory is like halfway out. <laughs> okay. Well, what do no, you mean? We're, we're, we'll be fine. What do you mean? What do I mean? Uh, to I, 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 I just don't want to fly over a village. Can I sort of, with my knowledge of, uh, how fast we've been traveling and just how far away we are. Like, mm -hmm. see if I can, like, calculate how much longer it would take. Just about. Like, It's we going to take under. you, like, another 30 minutes to get to the castle. It would be, like, another 20 or 15 before you... Or 15 to 20 before you go over your village. If you wanted to go out and around at this point, it would take you, like, an hour and ten. So. We unfortunately do not have that luxury. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. Let's, let's keep going. Yep. Me out here like you can fight the rock or you can fight your trauma. These are your options. <laughs> Screw Let me fight rock. the rock. Let me fight the rock. Let me fight the rock. Let me fight the rock, Johnson. If you enter the cloud, it's just a giant bird that's it's just like, Can you smell what the rock is? You're welcome. <laughs> All right, but like a buff man with like angel wings or like rock wings and him fucking like setting up, I'd be so yeah. ready. I raise you. Just a bird? I raise the rock you. space. <laughs> oh, no, I just a tiny little dove with the rock's a giant okay. head. No, hear me out. It is the same size as a D&D &D rock with the human sized the rock's head on <laughs> I have a I have a 3D printed Bulbasaur back there with the rock's head on it. So it's perfectly Why? Why before. You it's fucking cursed. I, somebody bought it for me off Etsy. <laughs> I didn't realize that mentioning this giant bird was going to lead to that revelation about what you have in your home. But moving on. <laughs> Ryo. That's me. I got a question for you, buddy. Yeah. Uh, how long would we be f f like when we get to the village? How long will we be flying over it? Uh like at max speed for all of you it's gonna take you no more than like a minute oh okay i was mm. i'm like it's pretty spread out but it's not dense like it's not big why for all right for listeners listeners just so you know crow has brought bulbasaur the rock johnson forward to show all of us it is so rock detailed johnson. too dwayne the bulb johnson this is this this is just like a regional form where Bulbasaur is rock type. No. <laughs> I was We're moving say, on. Put it away. <laughs> I was going to say like I could potentially use the property of the clock of skies and make it so that we are just a large moving cloud. But I feel like a 500 foot large storm cloud speeding through the air <laughs> is a little more conspicuous. I feel like this is somehow worse. Yeah. <laughs> this is some. Annie. Uh, hmm? Didn't you want to suggest, like, us all be in disguises? Yes, I can do that for you all. We're flying 
above the village. It's, it's, they're still gonna, if they're going to stop us or come towards us, it won't be because of who we are, it'll be because we are there. And if they stop us, we... Would it not be worth? If we get stopped, you guys won't be trialed immediately. It just... We're just Aarakocras flying by. But also we would be ones that they don't know. Could be from a rivaling village or... I don't decide. Is that how that works? Are there rivaling villages? Yes. (laughs) Is there any sort of humanoid that Aarakocras like? No. No. I mean, other Aarakocra, but yeah, the ones other... that they live with. <laughs> mm. Or if you... Actually, no, I'm not going to say that. Like, that was, like, about... like you, The tone of about to make a really bad joke. <laughs> Probably about his mother. What I if... <laughs> do they attack rocks? If they get um, too close, yeah. I would imagine one flying over the village would be bad. Oh, I don't, you guys are very hesitant to move away from it, so I was like, or do they go into hiding? Let's say we could possibly make a rock. Uh, birds, you would know that when a rock comes close enough to the village, they do, they like, everybody group, You do, you, they pull the group up and attack it uh, maneuver when a rock gets within flying distance of the village. Hmm. How about your patron if a physical form uh, yes we could all be, be her like, that would be like if she, a celebrity ooh. came out to town that's like I, six I ariana like grande flying over need to be solved like i think we just keep flying i uh, will be fine 30 ballista bolts come flying. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Catch them, drop them. We looked like those were still coming. Yeah. Annie, you're, you're still like brainstorming how to disguise the party as they're flying in. Uh, birds, you see some of the buildings in the distance at this point. Uh, and as a surprise to both of you, because this has been set up since you left this plane, uh, Lotus, you'd see it with your passive. You'd glance to the side and be like, what? You see there's like little huts set up on like a further radius from the town. And as you fly close from one of them, you guys hear a very loud. All of the other huts start sounding off like in order of just these horns uh, that indicate somebody is approaching the village. (laughs) Bruh. Shit. Oh. What if we made a distraction and flew away? A lot of them are faster than us, Hush. Uh, so as we're, you guys we're... are flying up uh, and about to sort of hit this like ring of uh, buildings that's been set up. Uh, from one of them, there is this little <laughs> that comes out and you watch as just a sort of thin cloud that you can barely see through, like a little layer of fog fog just booms out from it. And then from the next hut, just boom, 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 boom. And they form into this wall ahead of you all of a sudden. You all have to come to a stop as these fogs just collide. And your whole village is just suddenly wrapped in a dome of this cloud. Can we go over the dome? Really? Tell them to lower the barrier! I scream out into the air. Yeah, stop. Like, Raiden, like, looks up, and there's just a huge stretch of cloud, and then it starts to pull away and looks down, and there's a huge stretch of cloud that starts to pull away, and heck, you look with him, because you both are the ones with the boots that have time limits, and you look at each other, and he's like... I'd say 50-50 and whether or not we can do it. You want to you run the odds? <laughs> kind of. Hmm. Uh, birds, you see a bunch of Aarakocra, like, taking off and heading your way. Please. <laughs> it's 
no immediate response as just oh, this flock man. of like 30 soldiers is taking off and flying towards you they are not like immediately firing ballistas or anything at you but you can tell they're they're coming to like make sure who you are Hush, can you read my mind yeah read my mind and gain all of the information I have about Kaeli and send her a message oh uh sure I'm gonna cast uh detect thoughts oh I fail the saving throw. choose to fail and I will probe as far as I can and cannon uh you get all of these images of Kaeli presenting herself to Dolis previously so like big grandiose ones anytime she was like just little genie on his shoulder and stuff one time you see her with sunglasses which you're like what the fuck are those things um <laughs> in like a lawn chair yeah in like a lawn chair with aviators um <laughs> it's actually cool. a thing that happened i love that uh <laughs> what what am i sending to her uh i tell her you're with me uh and tell her to tell the tribe here to drop the barrier. The third roost, specifically. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna try to send to Kaeli after probing as far into Dolus' thoughts as I can. All right. Um. Hi, Kaeli. I'm Hush, <laughs> Dolus' friend. Can you tell the was it the roost nest? Sorry, third roost. The third, third roost. roost. Third roost to drop the barrier we're flying over. Hush. Hi, I'm Hush. Uh, hush. <laughs> uh, the birds are all sort of flying towards you. you just get back. Um, why are they always like this? All right. <laughs> she you said, all right, little one. Wait, she knows me. <laughs> Just, are you the weird little one? <laughs> she said okay, and she knows me. It's cold. Okay. Uh, he just watches these air cockra form like a row, and then a low row flying below them, and then a third row, and they all sort of like line at you. Uh, they all take spears, except a few that pull out crossbows, and they all aim at you. Uh, they're all aiming at Lotus. <laughs> oh! I will oh, and by extension, me! <laughs> You float in front of Lotus, and one of the soldiers, you just hear Jukes go, Wait! He whispers something to the person next to him, and then he takes off towards you all. He flies closer. It's a proper Aarakocra, like, man, full, like, face, beak, and everything. He looks like he's probably, compare him to a real-world bird, he's probably some kind of hawk. Uh, comes flying up. He's got like the, the, the war mask on and everything. He flies up and he's just. You've never been here for any of these salts. She finally roped you into this. You have the wrong idea, and you are about to receive a message from Kaeli to let us in. So if you'd like, we can all just wait for that to happen. Considering Kyle is the one who powers this barrier and that it's still up, I think I've been the one who's got the rule here. Okay, uh, we'll give it about five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Nothing like three, two, one. <laughs> changes. And then he just like, he reaches up and he takes the mask off. Uh, and as he takes it off, there's just a big scar across his face. And he's just like, after all I know about you, you really thought I'd fall for that and throws the mask aside. Uh, Falls you're like, into the infinite void. <laughs> yeah, literally, he just tosses it off into the nothing. It's a waste of money. And then he like leans really close to this wall of wind and air. And he's just like, as long as I'm breathing, I will not let you into this village. And then immediately you hear, 
That's a much more dramatic entry point. And there's a little, <laughs> as the right from in front of his nose, the cloud. <laughs> and he goes all wide eyed. And you turn, and Dolis, for the first time in months, you see floating there dramatically, Kaeli, her arms spread out. And turns and he's like, what? All of the air cock were like ready, all of their weapons. And they're like looking at Kaeli and looking at Lo you and Lotus and looking at her. And then she's just like, so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here too. I missed you so much. Um, can <laughs> Come on. You fly over and hug. Oh, I'm <laughs> yeah, this. she's just there hug. being hugged yeah. in between. Hi, I am the weird one. <laughs> little weird little guy. Hey, Ellie, I have so much to tell you. This is my best friend. Sorry, he's... We should probably not do that when you're on a timer. By the way, been about an hour or so. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Some, resummon her. Kylie, can you, can you take me? Alina's like, it's been like 50 minutes. There's time. <laughs> Kylie nods. And the man's like, the, the dude there is just like, my my lord, my, my mistress, what, what are you doing? She's like, no, 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 sh 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 don't worry. You don't have to explain yourself to like the Aarakog who is going up to you. You do have to all put your weapons down right now, though, or I will, in fact, hurt you all. <laughs> <laughs> he just shouts in Orin for all of the men to stand down. And then she's like, I take it you all don't want to do a little tour of your old home and would rather just go right to the palace? Absolutely not. Of course, wonderful. As for the rest of you, continue watching. You're good. If you see her again, but it, 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 just put the barrier back up. If it's her proper, I'll, I'll, I'll come, you know, fix you. <laughs> different attire. There you go. Different attire. I have a little. I have a little thing that has uh, Star Lost Lotus. Broken just metal wings. Stick your hand out between Lotus and Kaeli, still like in half a hug, yeah. and just uh, floating. <laughs> Hush! If you could talk, would sound like. <laughs> <laughs> you For some reason, he still sounds like that in her mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Kaylee's like, oh, where are my manners? Everybody, welcome to my home. And she turns her hand, and all of you who are flying, you were all just floating above a grand, like, a grand balcony. Uh, uh, huh, and you huh? look back, and the village is in the distance now. <laughs> and the storm kind of re-coalesces around everything as Kylie sets Lotus down. <laughs> huh? You can float now, huh? Wait, I can? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Can I just float? <laughs> uh, you were all fl I was saying you're all floating because you were flying. Like, oh. you, you, if you were not actively being carried, you, you could drop. <laughs> oh, you can float now, huh? I can? <laughs> Yeah, you fall like four feet and just. <laughs> yes, Dolis. Uh, just as an aside, did I recognize I that guy, that hawk? Uh, yeah, especially when he took the mask off. Yep. That's uh, Lotus probably wouldn't have, uh, given like the incident itself and all the time that's passed. And Lotus was very young, but that was definitely. I was the first person you ever Eldritch blasted. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'll just like, as we fly over, I look over towards him. He's like Not way off like... on the horizon now. Like you are, you get, you got moved to the Kaeli's palace. So you just see like the yep. flock of Aarakocra. Okay, never mind. Lotus. This is just a Lotus. Just. Do you think if I talk nice enough, Kylie would let me fly? Like, be mm -hmm. able to float? Maybe. Because Delilah still is going to use a wish on that, and I don't want her to. But she said, oh, I promised you this. So if I could get this from someone else, I maybe that wish could go to something better. Maybe we see where all this goes first, and then... Kylie. Yeah. But also, yes, we gotta like, do all this first. Kylie also, uh, I should ask her about this. Like, how she, you know, the handprints on my wings? Yeah. 
Yeah, she did that. So. Oh. All of you, come, uh, you two birds. Uh, apologies ahead of time for uh, the interaction you're about to have. Mm -hmm. You're not going to like it. Thoughts. Uh, steps over, floats down, so she's walking now, and she opens the big grandiose doors, and there are Aarakocra inside this entryway to the palace that are moving around a bunch of, like, supplies set up on tables and stuff as Hayley just goes walking in. A bunch of them start bowing immediately. And there are some, there's, like, some whispered gossip that happens. Um, who are these people? Various refugees. Most of them are down in your town, but the ones who have made themselves useful are up here. So... Luckily, you no. don't know almost all of them. Uh, okay. Unfortunately, the coordinator is someone you know dearly. Oh, or no. the opposite of dearly. Okay. Goes walking through. All of you follow along. Lotus, uh, you've got this. Okay. I hope so. Walks up a set of stairs and opens another door. You guys walk past all of these. It's not too dissimilar to Altairi. How was you saw all the refugees there setting up tables and triages and arranging supplies and that sort of thing. It's like that, but if you just stayed in Altairi for a few days to the point that things like calmed down. So like they're injured, but none of them are recent. There's supplies and stuff, but most of them have been sorted. Um, and as the big doors up top open, you guys, the birds, you hear a painfully familiar voice. Just. And where do you get off just rushing off when we're in the middle of a. And turns, you guys. For the rest of you, a pigeon, Aarakocra. Uh, but a proper pigeon, Aarakocra. With full beak and face and everything. Uh,. Little shorter than Dolus, little taller than Lotus. Uh, her wings are older and a little withered in places. Uh, she kind of looks. Her jaw, her beak is kind of agape as she looks down at the the two of you behind Kylie on the steps. Just ah, I see. I take it you won't be coming back to the planning meeting then, which says up at Kaeli. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. I like some private talks. I shouldn't have done that. Um, <laughs> Kaeli, Kaeli just kind of like looks down and just does like a little nod. And this woman turns all of your group and she's like, Not even back five minutes and already disturbing things again, aren't you? Not even a hello, Mama. Hi. Oh, thanks. I see that you survived your sojourn to the material plane, only so that your double could come back and cause hell for all of us. My double wouldn't have caused hell towards you if... We have a lot of things. Of course not. Of course. It's all my doing, wasn't it? Blame it all on your mother. Kylie, I'm back to the meeting. And she turns and she just walks away. Are you Fuck actually? It. Yeah. Start flipping her off as she walks away. She doesn't look back. That's the reason why. The Gosh. hush joins you. Gosh. Has, she, off. has she like ever gotten better over these past few months? Like just No, not mean? at all. Am I allowed to be mean to her in a mind? I'd rather you just not talk to her, Hush. I'd rather okay. you stay so far. 
Okay. Unfortunately could... for me, with you gone, she was the uh, best Thank warlock you. I had on hand. And also, she does have a fair sway over your little village, so... As insufferable as she is, she has proven useful. Dolis. Real quick, just so we are we are walking physically up the steps now. Like all of mm -hmm. us are, are we still floating up? She didn't float any of you. So if you want to float, that's on you to fly with however you were flying. She, I said you were all floating above that balcony because you all had been flying. And then you were all just above it. So if so you want to float, that's on you. I, I'm yeah. just saying like we're not like holding on to anyone or, you know. No, no, no. Anyone. You're all just okay, separate. Just making sure. Is she, is she old? Or is she just like... Kaeli? No, no, no. Uh, d uh, d uh, pigeon mom. mom. Pigeon mom. Uh, I mean, she looked older. She definitely was like this one of the oldest Aarakocra you've ever seen. Like you could tell she was like if she was human, she'd have been had like mostly gray hair. All right. Then, then uh, Hush looks like, like she looks like the feeling of a dry cough. I don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> That's really yeah, and it's like. You know, you get, it like sticks around too. Yeah, and, and you, you don't even like. Over over. It's just like it's like right there, and then you're just oh. like, uh, and then it comes up again. You're like, oh, why are you still here? Mm -hmm. Go away. How's Raiden looking, by the way? Hmm. Raiden. How's Raiden looking, by the way? Uh, Raiden. It looks mostly like he's trying to not make eye contact with Kaeli at any point. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So. She leads you all back through a smaller hallway, like walking past some Eric Cocker who like bow and she does like a little like, oh, yes, yes, yes. And she <laughs> yes, opens it's <laughs> another door and you are in this sort of lounge area that Lotus, you remember encountering past Kaeli in. Uh, and Dolis, it's also the same place you saw her when you did your little like vision to, to communicate with her. You all walk in. She's like, take a seat, relax. Let me know if you'd like anything. I am still a genie. Am I... Are you still holding on to concentration on that spell, Alina? Is... Alina's, like, nodding. She's like, yeah, you have, like, two minutes. Um, Kylie, I'm going to disappear in two minutes, so can you do something about that? Yes, in two minutes. Oh. Okay. Can I have a lemon bar? I don't see why not. <laughs> She's used to like a platter in down. front of you with a little dome on it and like there's little chairs and stuff and everything. She's like, sit, have whatever you'd like. <laughs> you open the platter and there's lemon bars. Let's go. We it goes for all of you. Dig in, have fun, etc., etc. And she's like, stretch. She walks over to the open balcony out into the storm that's outside. Every you all have a moment to sort of breathe. And do you all like can, in stuff. fact, just open any of these lids and have whatever you'd like to eat. Wait, what? Just like... Uh -huh. Yeah, just open a lid and whatever you want. I should, puts the lid back on the lemon bars and takes it back off and is wondering if there's butterscotch in there. Yeah, there's a bunch of butterscotch, like, all piled up. Takes it back on. Fish! fish. Annie doesn't know what she wants. <laughs> Air. There is a single bread roll. Hmm. Seems like At, something you all would want. Hush, as you go and take off a few more times, eventually Kylie just turns. She's like, could you please pick? Oh, sorry. I'm okay with lemon bars. It does take some modicum of power to conjure food. Oh yeah, cause don't... I'm understanding things better now. Uh, she just walked off onto a balcony nearby. She's uh, she's still within like speaking and talking to us. She just like walks off away from like the sitting and eating area to look out onto the balcony. I will follow her onto the balcony. And I won't like walk up next to her. I just sort of 
walk onto the balcony and then stand by like the entry door. To, to clarify, I apologize. It's like, oh. imagine if there is the door, like the archway out to the balcony and imagine if she's like leaned next to it. She has not stepped oh. out yet. So she's still in the room with you. Okay. No and, oh. So you could still, yeah, like you could still follow and stand next to her. Like she has just stepped like slightly away from your group. I am like... I, I, I don't like I won't walk up to her in that case, but like I'm just standing against the wall, very stiff, with my hands in front of me, almost like uh, like the position of one of uh, like a suit of armor on display. Ellie turns back to the group. Are any uh, has anyone other than those two getting food or sitting down or anything? She turns back. She's you all just standing there, and she's like. Hospitality is wasted on all of you. Even you two. Not... Not the singlest... Inkling of a bite to eat that you want. I'm just happy you're here, and I'm bracing myself for, uh, pain. I'll take a lemon bar. <laughs> it's a lemon bar. <laughs> and you just take it. <laughs> Give it a moment. Looks at Alina. Alina's like, I mean, I didn't keep like an exact count, so but I could, I could, I could just drop it now <laughs> if we want to just do it now. And Kylie nods. Alina, Alina drops concentration on Conjure Elemental. And Lotus, you are, you are, you the the feel the sensation suddenly comes ra rushing back. Make another con save. Oh, just a Lotus. Mhm. Mm Lotus, you you handle it yourself. Nope. Nope. Eight. Oof. You start to again, like, bend, and the, the pain comes back, rushing back in, and Alina's like, uh, uh, uh. And Kylie leans in, and she's like, focus, focus, look at me. And you just, you can't. Like, the sensation is just too much. And she turns to Alina, and she's like, again, if you would, uh, wizard. And Alina casts, casts, it on, casts it on you again. And you suddenly just uh, back. Kylie stands back up and she's like, mm, seems like you'll take a little bit more practice for you to hold it together. Uh, Miss Kylie? What exactly? Yes, you're the one that's two. Yeah. And right now I'm kind of both. Interesting. What's happening to them oh that requires a fair bit of explaining for the moment just give me a moment to settle if you wouldn't mind okay you the small the smallest of the lot mr tin seeker you're one who i've met before it's been a long time how are you everyone hates me why i don't know I want to clarify, Twink, I was lying to Tiamat. I'm not mad at you still. I am lying to Tiamat? There's a reason you're my favorite, Dolus. Okay. How are you? Incredibly stressed, which is really the exact opposite of how a genie wants to live their life. Can I do anything for you? Any monkey paws I can curl just for my own amusement and your betterment? No, I can do whatever I need. Unfortunate. Ah. <sighs> what about you, emotionless girl? <laughs> Fuck, I, I, I muted because I thought I was muted. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're doing great, buddy. Model. Like in terms of hospitality, or I, 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 any any little wishes I can grant that I can turn into fun little pranks to pull on you would be so emotionally fulfilling <laughs> right now. Hmm. Could you break a curve? I could. I take it you want me to break your curse, though, and then and then make you better. But if I broke your curse realistically, you'd probably still die from your original affliction. I could do that for you if you want. It'd be quite hilarious. Hmm. Is there a way to do it without? Uh, not that I can do. Hmm. 
More lemon bars? <laughs> you mortals are so simple. Yes, more lemon bars. <laughs> <sighs> Raiden, my dear Raiden, my... Ah, uh, my fallen child, my prodigal son returned. How are you? And he's just like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> he's like, that's what I get. <clears throat> What about Alina? Does she want anything? Turns. You? Anything I could do for- I've done a lot of reading about GDs, no. That's your patron. She's the one that- mm, 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 Like points at Dolus, points at Alina, points at Dolus. You know? Right? What? Oh my god, she's suddenly, suddenly Kaeli is behind you, your size, like your exact height and everything, and just like leans on you, and she's just like, uh, I'm trying to imply she's the one you're sleeping with. <laughs> she is my partner, yes. Ooh, partners, are the two of you going for a dance? She like takes your hand and rolls you out like she's like doing a dance with mm -hmm. you, and she's like... Oh, he or do you mean partners like a like like, like whoo, turn like turns into a guy with a suit of armor and she's like are you two guards out against an evil crew partners against evil and corruption in your city I mean, kind oh. of? <sighs> I mean, she just whoo, turns back into herself she's like you never let me have any fun Dolus. <laughs> <laughs> I My life has been so guys. stressful, and you don't let me have any fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have been watching you for months without being able to talk to you, and the first time we see each other and can interact, you don't even indulge my eccentricities for more than a moment. <laughs> Leans, like, she, like, falls back so Alina catches her, and, like, as she's sitting there, like, she's like, how do you put up with him? <laughs> it's like, I kind of like that he's a little, little, little socially in that. It's kind of cute. <laughs> it's kind of cute. I've got a lot on my mind. And Kylie's like, you've got a lot on your mind. I've had to keep the murderous version of her from murdering your mother and me and causing the apocalypse. Yeah, um, we were sort of dealing with all the other ones. Have you dealt with all the other ones? Is she the last? There's another one. <sighs> I can't even be mad at you. I haven't even handled this one. <laughs> she just turns back into herself at the archway again. <laughs> Can we... Can we start from the beginning, actually? Um, because... I, I, I don't know about you, Dulles, but I know I have a lot of questions for Kaylee. And I think it's better to start from the beginning. How beginning are we talking? Beginning like the other Dolus. Um. All right. Well, when you presumably vanished from the material plane to the astral plane, uh, from my perspective, Dolus broke his pact with me and forged a pact with someone else. I, of course, was very, very internally offended, enraged even, I tried to reach out to Raiden to see if he could wrangle the children I had put in his care, and what did you say to me? I didn't say anything, I told you to go fuck yourself, and then I hung up. <laughs> and then I hung up. <laughs> She's like, Imagine my joy and surprise when you returned to the material plane, Still with a pact with me, however, there was another version of you that had broken the deal. I presumed there was some trickery going on with your new patron, decided to, you know, just sort of play along for the time being, force you to fight yourself. It was at that point that I realized uh, I had made an error, and you were in fact real, as was Iliac. Fortunately, around the time I came to that conclusion, the planes began to, uh, slip. 
I have been watching you, as I can watch anywhere the wind blows, as your book loves to say, but I cannot intervene more than little ways. I'm sure you've noticed I like to give you little bursts of luck whenever I can. Thank you. Couldn't speak to you, though. Could hear you on occasion, not always, but sometimes. But I could watch. You truly have gone on quite the adventure. I was a big fan of the giant gun. That was a good one. That was you, right? And pointing at Twink. <laughs> or other you, I guess. Little disappointed you didn't let it blow up Altairi. I don't like that city. I thought it would have been funny. But greater good and all that, I suppose. Could you make me one of those? Lay <laughs> head down at Twink. Are you saying that you would then be in debt to me? I mean, I would commission you graciously. It's gold, gems, everything. But the ability to just have one of those on the material plane that I could just aim at things every now and then, it sounds gracious. Imagine me offering one use to somebody in exchange for, like, like messing all... with their lives <clears throat> the rest of the time. Yes, that would be oh, wonderful offer to be able to make. I'm sorry, I'm getting off, off course here, but I'll talk to you later. We'll work something out. Yes, I kept an eye on you. Glad you got to meet Barodorn and help Noxus out of that little situation he wound up in. They don't like you very much. We don't like each other very much, simply by our nature. I think that they're all egot egotistical assholes. They think the same of me. All of us are right. <laughs> I mean, have you talked to Barodorn? I don't think he can get two sentences out without flexing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's true. I don't think you spoke to Noxus, but if you had, you would have understood graciously. No, he just sort of stalked us and tried to burn us alive. I will say, at least that was Drayden. That wasn't actually properly Noxus. Still no, Noxus, uh, Noxus wouldn't be so bold to one of my warlocks. He would have one of his warlocks do it. He kind of did. Technically, his warlock had him do it. By the way, if you ever contain me within your body to use my power against your will, I will in fact do far worse to you than Noxus did to Drayden. Just not that I think you would, but just putting it out there. Uh, okay. Good, good to know. I guess when all this is said and done, I better establish a heftier presence on the material plane so at least I can turn into a cat like Baradorn does when time is right. You could hang out with us on the material plane. I could. I used to. I used to pop in all the time. Why did that stop? Uh, because the planes broke. Oh. Yes. You were the only ones oh. I popped in on, so I didn't really... I, it's not like I just wandered around and could, could sort of breach that whenever I wanted. Also, I had to stay here, so even if I did want to just sort of poke at breaches, I kind of had to worry about you coming to kill me. How... Can you run us through what exactly she's done? Well, there is a lovely collection of star-lost cultists that took over the first roost. Uh, they have turned it into their little base. They have started forging weapons of war. I believe also that was the other version of you's doing before you all dispatched him. Uh, luckily, there is no giant cannon, uh, but there are a lot of smaller ones that he made sure to fine-tune to f work perfectly well here on this plane. Actual cannons, not your monster of a creation that I'm still very interested in. Just to clarify, before any of you worry. But yes, they began their assault on other roosts. Trying to slowly make their way to me. Currently, only the fifth and the third remain standing. The attacks stopped a few weeks ago with the additional 
breakage of planes. The other you was stuck away from her forces, unable to lead them. I, since then, have managed to take back a fair bit of the sky, but... Since your bout this morning, she has returned. With broken wings. If you're worried, I was about to say, if you're worried about attacking her while she's still weak, her healers are attending to her already, I have gathered. Come on. You will find her at no greater of a weakness the next time you fight her than the first time. However, she won't have a traitorous warlock helping her with an anti-magic field. That'll be helpful. Glances at Raiden, he's just like... I could say it a third time if it would make you feel better. <laughs> Turn back to all of you. <sighs> the way I see it, given that she's finally back, Musters her forces, but we're all sort of gathered here. She's probably going to lead an assault and siege on your roost and the palace any moment now. Not moment, probably, probably at least a few hours to days, but soon. Soon, TM, as no, you don't say that. Don't worry about it. We can help in that. I mean, I don't really want to, you know. Yeah, Considering you all are the ones who have come closest to striking her down, I uh, think this would be perfect having you all here, actually. Um, Granted, you don't have your big gun. Uh, excuse me. Um, while we are on the subject of asking questions... My arm was burnt, and then all of my skin flaked off, and it was the same green as your skin. And now I can change my skin to whatever color I want it to be. I can alter my physical form. Kylie, what's happening to me? Uberty? That's not a joke, although I know that seems like the kind of joke I would make. No, I, I... Your arm was burnt, as you always presumed, because I gave you uh, magic and it was some sort of, uh, you know, karmic punishment, right? Yes. I remember you used to always hate me because of that. I let you. It was kind of funny. Your arm was burnt because the amount of magic that I unlocked in you was just simply too much for your body at the time. Uh, it wasn't really intentional of me, but, um, you know, again, it was funny, so. <laughs> uh, eventually, when you were sort of purged of a lot of excess magic by our Lashna, uh, you, you were able to sort of reset your arm, change that color, because that's a color you can naturally be. Eric Conker can have... be green? No. Well, I suppose some can, but that's not what I meant. I... You can naturally be that color. And your shape-changing abilities have started to awaken within you as you've gotten a bit older, because... Lotus, Dolist... Raiden, little wizard girl, one of you want to tell them? I see that you both seem to have figured it out by now, but it looks on your faces. She, like, glances down at them, and Raiden's like, I kind of assumed, I didn't want to jump to conclusions. Melina's like, I gotta figure it out with Conjure Elemental. She turns to you both, she's like, You guys think Akaeli is like a mom, right? You should probably think of her more as... The brain's like, a dad. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Kelly's like... Dolis, Lotus, I am... Your biological other parent... <laughs> I 
<laughs> Yo, dab me up, God dad. <laughs> 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 what? Uh, wait, wait, that doesn't. Wait, oh, that would. No, I'm confused. I feel like I know a lot about reproduction. I'm confused on this one. Kylie can shape change, hush. Yeah, but like. Kylie can That's be not whatever... the problem I'm confused about. Okay. That pigeon sucks. She does. That... Why? She also didn't want children, which is why when she asked me for power, I thought asking for her to bear two of mine would be very, very karmically funny. I didn't know she was going to make your lives hell, though. Uh, so, you know, my apologies. That one's on me. Can I, can I, can I say, I apologize for this. Mm-hmm. You're gross for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, uh, So, where? Genies? Half, but yes. Presumably, if I had never intervened, you might have lived out your entire lives as just normal era Cockra and just would have had particularly strong attunement to the element of air. But. So, they're not human I mean... faces, they're G genie faces? Does that mean they're going to live longer? I, uh, yeah, presumably you might live. I mean, maybe forever. <gasps> I feel like Grab Lotus. You're going to live forever! Uh, oh, You're not going to die at 30! I, I make no guarantees on that, though. I've, I've never sort of communed with my children like this, so. You might not die at 30! That's a much better way of approaching it, yes. This isn't the first time you've done this. Had kids? No, I'm thousands and thousands and thousands of years old, and I have needs. Okay. Also, it's very easy to sort of, again, like I said, sort of karmically punish mortals by making them bear children. It's really funny. Have you ever seen a pregnancy? It's traumatic. It's it's great. It's great scales balancing. I was a twin. My mom... Your poor mother. Yeah, she doesn't let us live it down. Yeah. A long, long time ago, a... little Aarakocra with a human face appeared in this very room to me and told me a story about how I would become kinder. About how... I would take care of her and her older brother and about how one day to save myself and her, I would need to send a message and make sure things were right, and uh, I sort of started following the thread on it. When you two were both born, and you were who you are and how you are, I uh, figured I would uh, Sprinkle a few breadcrumbs so that you would find the ring that belonged to your mother, and a lovely tale could come to be. I made Kyle at your mom. Dad. Dad. I made Kyle at your parents. That's cool. I guess Meridian did, but... I feel responsible. I'm that the uh, wow. Um, <clears throat> that's a lot to take in. Mm -hmm. Um, was Ripped totally it off like a bandage. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't expecting uh you to literally be one of my parents. Was kind of okay not knowing who my dad was, cause it's like you know, just kind of pats right in shoulder. Right. Thanks. That's good. I'm glad to, you know, sort of fill that void. I oh, kind of yeah. started sort of thinking that might be the case while you all were with me, but wasn't sure. Figured it might have just, I mean, Kylie asking you to be taken care of personally was sort of a bit of a giveaway. What Bane did was I my do? Most trustworthy person on the material plane, so... 
As soon as you all got banished, I made sure you wound up with him. Um, uh, okay. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so that's why... That's why I said you should probably have sat down and had a snack before I started saying all of this to you, because now you're de dealing with all of this on an empty stomach. Mm -hmm. more. Thank you. I always just you have that face that... on, you have that, I really... <laughs> you have that, you have a lot to say look on your face. It was you. This monster I've been building up in my head. This person who caused me and my sister to come into living the way that we are. Into the hell that our life has been. It was you all along. I'm sorry, Doc. When you were born, I didn't think anything of it. Till I saw your face. And I realized who you'd grow up to be. When Nyx asked for more power, I realized you had to have a younger sister, so I made the deal again, but... It is not my nature to be selfless, even with my children. It is not an emotion we genies commonly feel, therefore regret, guilt, they are foreign to me. But I hope you believe me when I say I am sorry for all that you went through before I realized better. And I hope all I have done for you since my moment of realization has done something to make up for it. Why did you give me, as you put it, the wind under my feathers? The wind you're my daughter? My because there was a lot of crap going on in your life. The same reason why, eventually, I made sure Dolus found my ring. If he had proper power, he could protect both of you. Then eventually, uh, once you got to an age where I thought you might be able to handle it, I figured the same of you would be perfect. Unfortunately, it was a little earlier than I would have wanted. You cannot imagine how enraged I was when I realized who you two were all those years ago before you were properly born. Oh, that's why you were angry. Mm-hmm. What could drive me to properly awaken some of my children to being genie? Ugh. But you're both not that bad, so... All in all, I think I like you. I know I always say Dolus is my favorite, but that's before we knew this. So you can just both be my favorites now. I mean, I wouldn't have minded. You know. I don't like no, par second no, parents person. shouldn't play favorites. I mean... I'm a bad dad. I'm not that bad of a dad. <laughs> Would you rather I say, Mom, is it strange? I mean, that kind of thing is just like, whatever. It you can have two matter. moms. That's yeah. fair. I'm a bad I'm mom. I'm not that bad of a mom. I'm not that bad of a mom. She points the direction you guys came from that like Nick's have been in. Oh, is that the, yeah, no. I will need some time to properly understand how I will process this, but this information has not, it has not swayed my resolve. I, 
I've come here to help you, Kylie, to protect you, as I said I would. Even though the bond that we have is blurrier than I had once imagined, I am still rather, I still intend to be your champion. And I Very glad to head. hear that. As for the rest of you, well, I certainly have the finest help for this siege, don't I? <laughs> don't ever say that again. It's a very funny name. I, I hate like it. it. I hate my, it. My son came up with it. Don't you insult it. He came up with it because he knew I'd hate it. That makes it even better. <laughs> I'm a genie so trying to convince me to not do something because it upsets someone is very, very much not going to work in your favor. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait. Hold on. I just re remembered the... So you were still not knowing about the whole... You know, uh, how do I say this? The fact that there were other us, but mm -hmm. I think when you gave me powers, it was before we met the other before we met Iliac true what I Is didn't it? give you your other powers to fight star lost I gave you your powers because you were refugees from the empire who were fleeing home and alone and I wanted you to be okay There, I said it. I did a nice thing. Can I go back to being silly and shape-shifting again? Is the, is the family talk done? Is our lineage the reason we're disappearing? Oh, it's because you're elementals at your base, like I am. I'm a very, very, very powerful elemental, and now that your power is awakening, you are slowly becoming powerful elementals, and sort of how I can just change shape at will and move around and turn into to wind. You just don't know how to control that yet. Is that well, you're doing I'm... a fair job. Boy, that gestures at Dolus. Is that why I'm disappearing more than Dolus since he's been able to? He's just more adjusted to it than you are. Eventually, oh. given years, maybe decades, you might be able to change as well as I do. But for now, the little tricks that you do are entertaining enough. And I you just focus on keeping yourself in one piece. It's <laughs> just that lotus. That's why I can also kind of change, but it does, it's not like full. But yeah, but what's your? Oh yeah, when you do the. Yeah, when I become other, when I became you. Yes. This that makes so much sense. That's your magic, yes. Wait, so that means one day I could like actually become you. Yes. You become me. I could become you. Hush, standing I don't think next you want to you that. is another one of you just with green eyes. Just, yes, yes, you could. Oh, that one could talk. <laughs> Blows, covers mouth, and you just still hear, just like, I'm sorry, should I? Should, like, I'm sorry, should I not talk? No, I'm, I, I've seen it a couple times. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, my God. Could you, wow, like, could you, like, turn into a bird on your own? Like in a couple decades? Yes. I can become anything or anyone well, within reason. Exactly Lotus. And yeah. so they will also be able to become anyone or anything within some reason. Fantastic roll out of that one. No, that was that was what I was gonna say, and then oh, you all okay. interrupted me. And then you all interrupt. <laughs> You're gonna live for a long time, hopefully. And you're going to become a shapeshifter. Uh -huh. You're going to become a far more than just a shapeshifter. You're going to become a genie. So Doc was right. He's becoming, they are becoming genies. 
Yeah, he's been celebrating in my head for like the last five minutes. I've just been reeling from the fact that I... Drink was wrong. Cut to inside the genius. dream realm where Doc is just like, Yes! I oh, revived yes! Jesus! <laughs> Hickory's just reeling from the fact that she feels like she started this domino effect. First, first off, first off. Mm -hmm. They've always been genies. They're not becoming genies. That is also technically true. They just, so, they just would have been dormant genies their whole life. The, the thing I was saying was they don't just become genies. They just were the whole time. Wait, Doc says, so let me have this, you bastard. We're, we're pigeon air cockra elemental genies? That's Your I'm elemental saying. genies who currently are just in the shape of a pigeon air cockra. You don't even look like this normally? This is your, like, true form? I mean, that's, that was their first form. Their true form is really whatever they pick. It's not like I have a true form. Well, I guess my true form is just energy. I could become Kyle. You could. You could become you a lemon bar. You can already do that with the magic that you have now. You can already... Can, uh, regardless. can you turn into a lemon bar? <laughs> a lemon bar that Annie is holding... And like Annie picks up, suddenly just talks, and is just like, yes, they could. And you guys look, Kylie's gone. <laughs> don't, Annie, don't, no. No. Annie, no. no. Annie, no. Annie, no. Don't eat their dead. Oh, you, but you do the full thing and you start chewing. And then just all of a sudden over your shoulder, just another Annie is just like, that was very bold. That was a risky maneuver that you just did. I appreciate that. Could I have killed you? No. I had a feeling. Not by chewing me. I'm not like that little bitch, Noxus. It wouldn't take that much. <laughs> he just turns and like walks. <laughs> Aldrich, what? Aldrich is just like, why are you asking me? It's not like is I could have just figured all of this out. <laughs> do the Fae do that? Do the Fae do what? Shape change? No. I what? have kids and just, I guess, yeah, actually, no, they yes. do. Elves exist for a I'm reason. I'm a grandfather. What? I'm probably a, I'm probably a great 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 grandfather at this point. Also, our Lashna has children. It's true. One of them is Queen of the Feywild. <laughs> Fey. Are you related to Quasi? Genies. Unfortunately, I may be. I make kids with, you know, mortals. But oh, I, I mean, Fey could. Yes. How do you think the first elves came about? I don't know anymore. The only one that I don't know of, like, that has children with mortals are, like, aberrations. But that's, like, a... They, they don't work together. They don't have parts that are the same. Kayla gets, like, a little smirk, and she's like, they're clearly just not trying hard enough. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't talk about that in front of you, Tom. <laughs> uh, I'm fine, I know everything. I know everything because he tells me everything. Fair enough. For the moment, <clears throat> we're all about to be under siege sometime in the near future. You're all sort of used to attacks and sieges. I would love if you would give me a hand. Preferably really... both of your hands and like all of your feet and just all, all of you, just all the help. I could have given you a hand if I didn't catch everybody with it. I would have been a good pun. So Any last we, questions before we before we take a moment? <laughs> do we have to like actively help Mama, or can we just like, you know? You seem to be slightly still under the impression that you'll have to listen to her as she's in charge of the refugees. You're my kids. Oh. How do I, I don't have to listen to here? her. Yeah, let, let me let me make this very clear for both of you. I am the genie lord of the elemental plane of air, and you are prince and a princess. I guess would be the most sort of accurate phrase for your vernacular. You're a princess. I'm the Okay. Did anybody better... ever talk about that throne dream? Huh? No, this is above the table. No. Okay. <laughs> a minor illusion, a crown on Lotus's head. Prince. However, uh, the cap the the castle is about to be attacked, and the queen might be killed. So, um, 
like attack right now? <sighs> I, I can't. I, they're not on their way right now, but they will be on their way within the future. So we, I, I am asking humbly the finest what they think the course of action I take should be. Ian, she said, I'm asking humbly of the finest what I, they think my course of action should be since a siege is, come, is probably coming. The way I see it, we have anti-magic on our side now. Don't think that's true. Raiden pulls a little like spike out and he's like, oh, it's a lot smaller, but I could make another field. I don't know if that's going to help mm. in any way. Not against the nameless, but or against any siege weapons, period. You know, from the description, it did seem like they had more. They do have some wizards are... amongst their collective, but no, their biggest threat is probably the fact that they will attack with heavy weaponry. Yes, small strange one. Uh, I don't know too much about the elemental planes. I know the things in them, but not amazingly uh, what goes on in here. Are other elementals allowed to be in these planes, such as like an earth elemental? Yes, they'll probably be a little uncomfortable, but yes. If we could possibly get our hands on earth elementals, they can take care of the weapons. They're very good at breaking apart things that are stationary. Alina's like, if you let me go to sleep, I can handle that. I'd like to, too. I still don't know oh, I how need to, to sleep. use this I'm mixed up magic. Eating. Okay. Earth Elementals can help with the siege weapons. The wizards themselves, if we can possibly set up that anti-magic field and weaponize it like as a projectile, you could set them up in where they are. I don't know if we could do that. Looks at Twink and Raiden. Raiden's like, I definitely couldn't. And looks at Twink. <laughs> I, I don't think I could do that in the time we would need it. Could we? Do you only make... have the one? Reaches in, pulls out two more, and make a triangle. Can I had. I, eight, at best, I more. might be able to amplify the area. Anything you can do would be lovely. Brayden just hands you the anti-magic spikes and then he hands you a remote. How strong can you make a downdraft? Me? Yeah. Very strong. Strong enough to potentially send any projectiles straight down? Not permanently, but for a time. Okay. So we are rooting how we get it to them. What are what are the chances that um, you could maybe get a rock? Not a rock, but like a rock. More than zero. Okay. Probably uh, rocks less than in, 20. Rocks are absolutely going to be a big help here, especially taking care of some of their weapons, weapons and their casters. I, I'm concerned the rock isn't going to distinguish it between the will two not. groups. Nope. But Stand if there's between. a chance. I'm I don't know. Not sure that's worth the chance. It's right idea. now, off the start, what would honestly be extremely helpful is information about what they have. So, who's up for a stealth mission? Ooh! I'm good at those. I'm not good at those. I'm so good at those. You have no idea. Yes. Wow. Twin. Well. Yeah. And I'll be busy amplifying magic stuff anyways. Let's figure out where everyone's going to be. Let's do it over tea. There's just cups in all of your hands as Kylie's just like. <laughs> I shut his hand up. So he's like, oh. We have very, very long days ahead of us. Dolus is hand, like, and now that the cup is in it, is like very visibly, like, shaking. He holds uh, it with the other hand to stabilize himself. 
Raiden reaches up and puts a hand on your shoulder as he just like downs his whole little teacup in like one go. You all sit there sort of reeling from this new information with the knowledge that soon a siege of the castle will come into play and that you are with the prince and princess of the plane of air. I'm sorry, but all I can imagine is sometimes <laughs> family isn't just a mom and a dad. Sometimes it's one mom, one adoptive dad, and one who's either or. As you're all sort of sitting here on this sort of moment, uh, Twink, you start fiddling with the, the various devices you have at your disposal, trying to figure out what to do. Hush, you're excitedly thinking about a stealth mission. The birds are reeling. Annie feels nothing. Uh, Hickory, you're stuck in Doc's body being like, fuck, what am I going to do? As all of this is happening, a, a cat jumps up on the coffee table. A blonde... Uh, I shoo it away. No, I'm kidding. Slightly <laughs> bigger I than I shoo adolescent it. cat. Aww. Adds up. It looks right at you? Lotus and just... You shoo it away? I was joking. Oh, I was joking. A joke about shoo it away. About oh. <laughs> I said I shoo it away, but nobody heard except uh, for uh, Crow, who thought I said no. shoot it. <laughs> ah, <laughs> and obviously, K, it. who made the joke. Yeah. Yeah. I heard shoo it away, and then I, I, I thought K was just saying he's actually shooing it away. <laughs> no. Yeah, a cat jumps up on the table, and it looks right at Lotus, and it just does a. Yes. <laughs> I said that. I set down the teacup and I'm just, he just like, jumps over to ah! you. Oh my god! It's been so long. Hello, you're so big now. Oh my gosh. Socrates' cat. Uh huh. Hello, you used to Kylie be so had her? small. <laughs> oh yes, I love her dearly. Nothing will ever happen to her. Okay. As you cuddle with shoes. <laughs> We're going to end the session there. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we end uh, this session. I just wanted to be noted in that moment of gravity. Doc is screaming at Hickory to ask Ky for Ky to ask Kylie for a griffin. Oh my god, <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> That's amazing actually. Oh. Thank you all so much for watching Star Lost Seas and this absolute fucking whopper of a session. We started with Tiamat, we ended with Kaeli, and the whole passage between was a grandiose time. So, uh, if you want to see more of this, like and subscribe and come back next week when we put this episode, these episodes up on Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern. That'll be a good time. If you want to support us, there's our Kofi down in the description below so that our editor can eat. If you're on Spotify, check out the YouTube. There's certain stuff that you can only get there. That's true. There are some one shots that are only on YouTube. But yeah, so thank you listeners. Thank you watchers and see you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>